It's Mike back again with um, with a Build the Millennium Falcon update. It's been a while actually, um, but I thought I'd have a little flurry and uh, get a load of stuff done just to kind of uh, um, get a bit more up to date. We're up to issue 29 in total, if you believe that, um, of 100 issues. So we're um, we're rolling on like we're getting, um, getting there. So I just thought I'd show you what I've done up to, up to now. So this is the... You've seen this before, the bits box of bits. Um, I think I've I'll just do a quick recap. I know I showed you some of this before. So we know, so the cockpit's done. I kind of spruced it up a bit and painted it. Again, I, I am, I'm building it stock. I'm not adding anything particular, but just painting some bits up where I choose to. So, so the cockpit's done. So he lives in there until we need him. Again, we've just got some, we've got the battery box and the batteries and some of these bits here that are sort of the, the back of the cockpit. Um, we've got a few corridor pieces. We've still got our gun, which we haven't built yet, which we'll wait until we get the other one. We've got some frames there and a corridor, um, corridor archway. We've got all of our barrels and boxes and stuff again from from a different manufacturer. I can't remember where. Got them at Salute. Watch the previous video and I'll tell you where I got them from. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and the box of screws and bits and bobs. So, and then basically all in there uh, is hull plating, effectively. So those of you with a keen eye might have noticed that I've taken the the um, the ring out when you get it it's orientated incorrectly so there's a you, you can get this out quite easily to be fair and just glue it back in so I'll do that when I come to do it um, here's a bit of underside just primed at the moment so I need to paint all that and weather it and again I'm not going to until I start doing all the plating the whole plating for the whole ship which I'll paint all at the same time I'm, I'm not I don't really want to piecemeal it and do a little bit here and a little bit there. I want to paint the whole thing all at once at the end. So basically we've just got plates and plates and plates of plates. So, which is good. So, get a nice collection of plates there. <laughs> um, so that's it. That's that's all that's in the bits box. Um, what we've actually been painting though. Um, you've seen this. You've seen the uh, the main hold. So that's completed. And now we've got our corridor sections. So we've got, right, so I, I've weathered these and painted these up. And again, it, it tells you not to glue them all together until you actually come to finally fit them, which is fine. So I've just kind of um, tested, sort of just together to, in a test fit way, just so you can see it really. So I've, I've done the floor in a metallic effect, got all the cushions on the side of the, um, the walls. So ultimately, um, let's see if we can get it together in some sort of fashion. So that's going to go there, so you can see. Okay, so that goes there. And then we've got this section here, which is just a padded corridor section, which is quite cool. Again, paint the floor, paint the ceiling, but you're not going to see any of this. Um, that goes, goes somewhere, that goes there in some sort of fashion. So that slips in there. I'm not going to really do it because it is, it's a, it's a funny old fit. So I won't, uh, something like that anyway. Let's have a look. Which is why it tells you not to glue it all together basically. So you've got, you kind of test fit it. And then when you actually come to install it into the main ship, um, it all kind of goes together very nicely, as far as I understand. So here we go. Just watch me, watch me struggle to put it together. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> so anyway, well, whatever. But yeah, that kind of goes there. And then you've got this bit here. Again, another corridor section the ramp going up there and that is ultimately going to go in like that so you 
can see it all kind of coming together with that bit there. No, wrong. No, that's right, yeah, with that bit like that. Something like that anyway. So we, this is the kind of interior of the ship, which is looking pretty nice. So that's um, um, sort of up to that section, up to issue 29 with the interior. Um, I, I, um, there is another little little tube that goes off this, this doorway, um, but I was miss missing issue 27 on my last order. They sent me two issues of 26 and um, only one issue of 27. Uh, sorry, two issues of 26 and no 27. So I'm missing some bits of that. Um, and then finally, the um, the framing for the underside, which is looking very nice. So this is it so far. Again, missing this frame bit here because of my missing issue 27. And then I've got more framework. So I've got framework to sort of come up to, to extend this by another two. And then in issue 30, you get the other one to come up here. So by the end of issue 30, um, we'll be, uh, yeah, so, no, I told you we're up to issue 30, we're up to issue 29, not issue 30. Sorry about that. But yes, but in issue 29, you get this ring um, to kind of hold it all together. So it makes the structure really, really strong. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's looking really, really nice. So, and I believe you get another ring then for the top. This is, this, this is the bottom frame. So it looks like we're going to be building the entire bottom frame. And then once that's completed... Um, the top frame will will start. We've got some bits of the top frame already. They start. They gave you some of the top frames in the first few issues, just to kind of hook you in. And then once you once you're subscribed and established, they um they start giving you bits at the bottom that you probably won't see very often. So yeah. Um. So that's it. So yeah. I mean, it's it's been a really um uh, yeah, but easy build really. It's it's not of a complicated build. And again, you can do as much or as little to it as you want to. You can um. You know, you can just build it completely stock um, and it would look OK. And to be fair, I think once it's completely finished, um, the interior bits, especially, you're not going to be you're not going to see a huge amount of interior once it's completely built. There are some removable hatches, so you'll see some of the interior, but certainly not not very much of it. Um, so. So if you did nothing to it, it would look fine. I mean, I think, you know, and you can go the whole hog of. Um, you know, of, of, you know, completely customizing it, etc. Although, again, I mean, I think I said this before, just to, just a, a niggle in my mind would be that if you, if you didn't wait for the whole model to come out and you started customizing it today up to issue 29, again, you know, we're not hundred percent sure what, what components they're going to give or what, what's going to come next. And I wouldn't want to have done something to it for that to get in the way of something that, is integral to the build but doesn't fit because I've modded it so you know I, I'd be wary of that of doing that myself and if I wanted to mod it to an extent where it might interfere with future um, components I probably would wait and collect all the issues or more of the issues you know so you knew where you stood so I mean that's just me though um, you know if you've got it you, you can do what the heck you like with it clearly um, so that's me um, so that's it so that's up to issue 29 of build the Millennium Falcon um, my daughter said this is she thought I was making a Captain Captain America's shield so that, that was pretty cool so, <laughs> so yeah he didn't have a big dent in it but you know you sort of get the idea but yeah that was pretty cool anyway so um, that's it for me for now and I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys